Have you ever wondered where Prince Craft Boats gets their name? Well, in Princeville, Quebec, of course. We were invited to Princeville to test drive their new lineup for 2020 on Lac William, east of Montreal. Around the campfire one night, we heard about a one-of-a-kind jet boat tour through the Lachine Rapids in Montreal. While the purpose of our trip was for the new Prince Craft Boats, we are a powerboat show, and that tour does involve powerboats. So we decided to take a short detour on our way home. So we're on our way back from the Prince Craft Media Days in Princeville, Quebec, and we thought, why don't we haul off the highway and check out Montreal? So here we are in the old port, and see, John and I don't get to hang out together too much, so this will be a nice afternoon for us to have some fun, because it can't just be work all the time. Montreal is Canada's second largest city and has a unique European feel. It's rich in history, culturally diverse, and buzzing with activity. Montreal's old town was where the city was born. Cobblestone streets, European-style plazas, restaurants, museums, and galleries make you feel like you step back in time. What piqued our interest was the fact that Montreal is completely surrounded by water because it's located smack dab in the middle of the St. Lawrence River. Whether you're passing through on your way out to the Atlantic Ocean or making the city your main target, there's enough navigable water to satisfy virtually any flavor of boating. Although we came by car, boats of all shapes and sizes have been navigating Montreal's various waterways in and around the city since it was founded back in 1642. This could be Canada's busiest waterfront and any boater's paradise. Just southwest of Montreal, Lac St. Louis is a popular spot for fishing and pleasure boating, while the Boucherville Islands to the north are great for cruising or anchoring to get a glimpse of some wildlife. There are a number of marinas and ports around the city to service long-term and transient boaters. There's even one at La Ronde, a waterfront amusement park and a great way to spend the afternoon in one of the city's best tourist spots. The Port de Plaisance at the mouth of the Lachine Canal is a great way to bypass the nasty Lachine Rapids and head into the old port of Montreal, which is home to the Montreal Yacht Club, a beautiful downtown marina in the shadow of the Jacques Cartier Bridge and the Montreal Clock Tower. With wireless internet, laundry and shower facilities, this 210 slip marina can accommodate boats up to 80 feet in length. We were a little early for the ride, but John found another way to buy some time. There is so much to do in Old Port Montreal, and we are here at the Montreal Zip Line, which is about 420 meters or 1,250 feet. We've been here for five years in the Old Port, and it's really an exciting activity for everybody to be uh, doing here. Our youngest, as of yet, that did it, three years old in a diaper alone, no parents, and our oldest, 92, imagine. So it's really for everybody. So you ready to fly, my man? Absolutely. Now lean back. <laughs> the zip line is an amazing way to see the old port and get a bird's eye view of the yacht club to see just how big those jet boats really are. Remember earlier when Drew mentioned the nasty Lachine Rapids? Well, that's where we're headed, and this is the boat that will be taking us there, courtesy of the Soap Mouton Jet Boating Company. Mouton, Soap Mouton, it means the boats that jump the waves. So we've been doing it now 37 years. My brother heard about these rapids in a downtown Toronto shopping mall. Some nameless old man who's passing out pamphlets for a rafting trip, wilderness tours in Ottawa. He said, if I had that raft when I was a kid, I'd take it through the Lachine Rapids. My brother said, where are they? And he said, downtown Montreal on the St. Lawrence. Why don't you try it? Maybe it'll be a good raft trip. And so that's how it all began. A nameless person, a flippant comment, and here we are. The company operates wilderness tours whitewater rafting on the Ottawa River, jet boating in Niagara Falls, and of course the wettest and wildest tour of Montreal you can find. You can't tackle the rapids in just any old boat. These jet boats are very unique. This is one of the fastest pleasure crafts in Canada. It moves somewhere between 42 and 48 knots, somewhere in the uh, 60 to 80 kilometer range. This is a double hulled aluminum boat. It's about 40 feet long, 14 feet wide fully loaded with 48 people. It only needs about 18 inches, about a foot and a half of water to move around. It's got a very shallow draft, almost a flat hull. It's got about a 5% V, so it can do like a 360 spin. There's eight compartments that are uh, watertight, so it should not sink, but then the Titanic went down. So, you know, things do happen. Well, that's reassuring. This vehicle has got 1,300 horsepower. It's got two 660 horsepower Caterpillar Aquamarine diesel engines. They're built in Texas and it's got two Hamilton water jet turbines that come from New Zealand in a place called Hamilton in New Zealand. 
Think of this as a giant sea dew for 48 people. No propellers underneath, so there's nothing underneath to catch on the rocks. Coming up later in the show, I try to muster up the courage to take on the Lachine Rapids. Back in Montreal, we were just about ready for our jet boat ride. But this isn't your run-of-the-mill boat cruise, so before hitting the water, we had to run through an orientation to learn more about what to expect. I would say we under-promise and over-deliver here. Basically, people have no idea what they're getting into. We show them a video, we have an explanation, we say you're gonna be wet. People come back and they're like, man, that was the craziest experience we've ever had. And I have to say, I didn't feel a whole lot better when I saw all the gear we needed. Even in the summer, the St. Lawrence can be ice cold, so Soap Mouton outfits all the riders with a fleece, a rain suit, some fancy footwear, a huge padded life jacket, and another poncho just for good measure. And John was doing everything he could to help calm my nerves. I opted for the brain bucket as well, just to be safe. These are class five rapids. Even the people that have kayaked it, really whitewater specialists have been through here. Everybody is very impressed. They are the second largest runnable rapids in North America after the Colorado River by water volume. Basically, the CFS, or so the cubic feet per second out there, is over half a million. We're going to go in about four different waves and have a lot of fun getting wet. Anything else you think we missed that we need to know? No, if you've signed the waiver, we're all good. All geared up, we took our seats in the front row and we're ready for the ride out. No seatbelts in this thing. The first part was kind of nice. For about 15 minutes, we cruised past the city skyline, under some bridges, and down the St. Lawrence. Todd was right, this boat hauls. And then, everything changed. Also, our tour guide, Todd, was nuts. Seriously, who gave this guy a megaphone? Hey, Drew, time to get the Sapu out, let's go. Sapu's in the air, wrap the ball around, let's go. Rock the sewer, baby. Look at all that water, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, honey, wait till I bring out the big stuff. Oh my god, the big stuff! On your right side, John, there's a big hole called portable. It's on your right. The waves are gonna come left, left, right. She come out of break at night, and the pink skies waving goodbye. These guys did not undersell this ride in the least. Where else can you go from completely terrified to having the time of your life in seconds? And if that didn't look crazy enough, my hair tells a different story. Finally back on dry land, do you think Jack's promise lived up? Unbelievable. I've never been in a boat where a 10-foot wave came over my head, and I wasn't really that worried, but Drew was a little worried. Yeah, I gotta get new pants and it's not because of the water. We show people from right here in the old port the two best miles of the St. Lawrence River. 